Okay, hello. Uh, this is Ryan Ahmed with you, and in this video, we're going to explain to you how to boot uh, an ISO image, okay, from um, uh, over the network, okay, and configure the ILO and login at the same time as uh, SSH, okay, so you can like uh, see how to use uh, the smash CLI plus uh, configuring some stuff. Now, uh, it's a very important, very important that you have to get this book, okay? The, it's, not a, it's not a decade, it's a, it's a guide from HP themselves. You must download and find this file, okay? It's not uh, hard to find it, okay? Just a little, uh, uh, little search online. Let's see here, okay? Uh, HP, uh, ILO, uh, 5 maybe now, okay? Uh, Scripting guide. My, I think I should get the new one. Okay, this one. This is the one I should get it. Okay, but I have uh, idle four anyway. It's not the uh, big, uh, big deal. Okay. Anyway, so. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit about the commands and you can read later about it, okay, but uh, And uh, these were still uh, with the same configuration of the Apache web server with the same file same things because they were going to continue with the same example, okay, so Here type SSH administrator. We set it up without a password so we can log in now Okay, and then uh, ls uh, not not less. <laughs> uh, now, if you want to find the date, you can just type date, find the time. Yeah, this time. As I told you, there's a the help of so many commands. Okay, the the same commands are already listed uh, with their explanation in the section of Smash clip scripting language. Okay, but by the way, it does not do any scripting like in in this sense of programming that we do in Java and C plus plus. Okay, it doesn't do it. Okay. So uh, I don't think of running uh, such as, uh, with the scripts as uh, such. I looked uh, online uh, with a, like took me two days to find out that it really doesn't work as you want. So uh, using normal bash scripting, things like that, because there is no bash scripting inside uh, this uh, shell, okay? Now, uh, yep. so if we want the version, Okay, this is the version. Now, as long as now we're going to do only the uh, CD-ROM booting, we have to go to the uh, uh, guide and go below there where it talks about virtual media commands. Okay, now we go down, okay, read, uh, read uh, about all the meanings of the virtual media commands. Okay, uh, by the way, there's a target, okay, this is uh, where you. This is like the mount point of your uh, uh, of your uh, of the maybe USB disk or something like that, or floppy disk. And this is for the DVDs and the uh, CD-ROMs. Okay. Now, uh, and this is very important uh, switch, okay, or option, okay, and this one, okay. Um, so we're going to use uh, OMP boot. Okay, uh, either never or once. Once is important. Uh, the rest always or whatever uh, is not uh, as important as once. Okay, just do OMP boot uh, connect and then again an OMP uh, boot uh, once. And uh, you boot once. Once you reboot, it will forget about it and you'll go to the normal uh, booting default way that you have set already in your BIOS. Okay. So this is the example, okay, here if I have a CD-ROM image, okay, this one, so you see it uh, changed to the uh, target, so our target is to boot from uh, this CD-ROM, CD and um, uh, show is not as important, but uh, show is just to tell you what's, what's going on to in, the, uh, in that target, so I'm going to copy them one by one, by one and you'll see. So, I click like this. Okay, now I'm in this target. Now I'm going to show you this target, uh, what's going on inside it. So now it says uh, there's no image. 
doesn't uh, no booting nothing okay and right protect here is yes okay uh, so now I'm gonna go inside the ILO so it has downloaded for me the newer version okay but anyway I'm gonna go through the ILO and gonna also here to the information overview yes. and gonna uh, start again the uh, the remote console just to show you that it took it it took the uh, ISO file okay and can uh, read from it okay not gonna boot the system uh, just listen to my uh, explanation for my explanation I'm gonna not reboot it it will it will boot you will test it you will know it will boot okay so continue So I'm gonna go with my command with my username. Okay, you will see the icon, uh, and here the mar it will mark a DVD being uh, red also. Okay, you can still use this uh, interface to do the same thing. Okay, but our purpose here is just to do scripting. Okay, so we can manage as many as we want of computers at the same time and with the same ISO image. So if we want to do an unattended installation of uh, some operating system. So, uh, yeah. So now, going back to the commands here. So I'm setting the image like this and I'm gonna put the install image that we did. So like this, uh, HTTP, track, track, 921.68.1.5 slash Debian, dot i uh, dot iso okay now see uh, if i set, for example put any command like this it will see uh, command failed command not recognized any command that's not there it, this is what it tell you okay but this is a correct command okay now uh, yeah so uh, i'm gonna do also set uh, o E M H P uh, boot equals connect. Okay, now inside the uh, interface here, see you should find. See it's now took the uh, DVD. Okay, and then you type uh, set O E M uh, uh, once. Okay. And we show, see what's going on. So it boosts once, uh, things like that. Okay. Now, if uh, if I want to disconnect this, I'm gonna click, click cancel here. Okay. If I want to disconnect this, and uh, this is this will be unticked without a tick. Uh, this will be having no DVD. This means that you ejected the DVD. So what we're gonna do is set uh, uh, to disconnect. Okay, now here, see there's no DVD. Okay, so uh, this is how you add uh, an ISO image to uh, your system, and it will boot. I'm, uh, I'm gonna, uh, I, I like, I'm pretty sure that it will, do, it will boot with you. Okay, but but just one thing you have to do on the, to understand. Uh, there's a command here. Like if I uh, do to, to reset the machine as if you press the key button from outside from the box from the case of your system, okay, uh, you'll have to do it like the CD slash system one, and then there's a reset help reset. I'm gonna do help reset just to tell you about it. So this is like you press physically, you see, uh, the uh, key button or the power button of the machine, okay. I'm not gonna do it, okay? Just type this reset, okay? And uh, soft or hard, whatever you like, okay? Uh, uh, so I'm gonna just put CD, okay? CD slash, so I'm gonna go to the, to the root level. And then, okay, uh, 
once you do this, uh, please open another shell, okay, and uh, log into the real machine, actual machine, and do a normal reboot, okay. Like for example, uh, uh, let's say I'm um, like an on any Linux, just type reboot, okay. Uh, if you cannot do it, uh, just go as root and reboot. Okay, go SSH, same thing uh, like we did with our uh, ILO. Okay, with a uh, username and password like, uh, for example, SSH uh, root and whatever IP 192.168.1.5 for dot whatever 60, whatever the machine's IP that you have, log in at it. Okay, with its uh, username and password, and that's it. Okay, and uh, issue the command reboot and it will reboot. Okay, or if you want, you can just simply type it like this, for example. Okay, like the, it has this, uh, the, uh, on this IP the server that you want to reboot and just say uh, reboot. Okay, it will uh, uh, execute the command reboot and it will reboot it. Okay, uh, and it will reboot normally, it will boot onto, uh, on, uh, uh, on the ISO image that you set. And that's it. Okay, so this is the main important thing about uh, all our uh, explanation this year. Okay, rest of things are just you can simply see it just for information commands and maybe if you want to add a user and things like that. But uh, those can be done through the web interface. Okay, there's no meaning uh, of learning them on command line. Okay, and that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe and uh, tell your friends about uh, this uh, set of uh, uh, videos, okay? And see you later on the uh, XML scripting.